today I want to go over the best cold hardy figs to grow in ground zones 5 through 7. If you fall into this category, then this video is for you. Why do I say zones 5 through 7? Because this is typically where winter dieback is going to occur year after year. And so we need special figs that can grow back from winter dieback and give a large crop of figs by the end of a short growing season. So am I saying if you live in zone 4 that you can't grow figs? I'm definitely not saying that. You can grow figs in containers pretty much anywhere. A lot of collectors exclusively grow in containers so they can fit more figs in a smaller space. And they like to bring them inside into like sheds or garages. Uh, or if they have a greenhouse, they like to bring it in the greenhouse. So you can definitely grow figs in a container no matter where you live. And if you live in zone eight and up, figs are gonna grow just like they normally would into big, beautiful trees. But zones five through seven, where we can actually keep those root systems alive and winter dieback still occurs, uh, they're typically gonna grow like bushes and the root systems are gonna be kept in check because of the cold temperatures. With that being said, I wanna give you guys a list of figs that will perform wonderfully for you year after year in cold climates. Uh, starting with the more basic varieties such as brown turkey, uh, and Chicago Hardy. Maybe in that category we could even put something like Violet de Bordeaux. These are all great producers. They're more readily available. I could probably go to my local supermarket and find one of those varieties right now. And for good reason. I mean, they are cold hardy, they are reliable, and they give large crops of figs. Uh, and because they're so readily available, they're more affordable. So if you don't know if you like figs or not, but you want to try growing them, I suggest starting with one of those varieties because you're not going to break the bank doing it. Moving out of that kind of beginner category, uh, we have things like Long Da Out. Uh, we have Dalmati, which is an amazing fig. We have Red Italian. We have Spatifora Unknown. We have Unknown Ashbury Black, which is one of my personal favorites. Uh, you can actually leave these figs on the tree. They'll dry out and you can still eat them. And in fact, that's one of my favorite way, ways to eat the figs is when they dry out because the flavor is just unbelievable and they have the texture of a jam. So in my opinion, you can't beat Unknown Ashbury Black. It's hands down one of my favorites. We also have varieties such as Boston Unknown number 12. We have Sweet Diana, which is a really good one. A seedling fig from California that we've actually had a lot of luck with is called Golden Honey and it's actually pushing out crops of figs after complete winter dieback. So that was very surprising to me, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the list. And by the way, if there's any of these figs that you wanna try, we do sell them at theamericanfigcompany.com. We are no longer doing cuttings for this season, and we are now moving on to rooted figs. I believe we're gonna be putting them out starting on Monday, but don't hold me to that, but it will be very soon. Another really good fig is called Texas Everbearing. It's another one of my favorites. To me, it kind of tastes like brown sugar oatmeal, especially when it's warmed up by the sun. Uh, it is an open eye fig, which means the little hole at the bottom is open, uh, which can allow ants to get inside. Typically what I've found is that there's almost like a sacrificial fruit where all the ants tend to go to before they go to any of the other ones and they all follow one another to that fruit. You want to be very diligent about picking your fruit before the ants get all over them. Now if the ants get inside, it's okay. Uh, take them inside, wash them off, cut the fruit in half, wash the ants off of it, and it's fine. If that grosses you out, I'm sorry guys, it's just a reality of fig growing. A couple of varieties that you will want to watch out for at the stores, they usually put uh, varieties like Little Miss Figgy and uh, Celeste right next to the brown turkey and the Chicago Hardy, making you believe that they're great cold hardy figs, when in fact they're not. They're a little too late uh, ripening for us to be growing them in cold climates. Never had luck with Celeste. I have ripened a few Little Miss Figgy if our season goes on long enough, but that's not typical and for that reason, I'm not gonna recommend that you guys go with those. Uh, another variety that there's some issues with is Tina and White Marseille. They are typically sold as the same thing, though they are not the same varieties. If you wanna get the true White Marseille, it's a little more difficult to do. We do sell the correct White Marseille on our website, and that is a great cold hardy fig. It was one of Thomas Jefferson's favorite figs. 
so it has a lot of historical significance and it is a great fig. However, many people are selling Tina in place of White Marseille. I'm not sure where that mix up came from, but it is there and the true White Marseille is gonna have lobed leaves, whereas Tina has finger-like leaves. So you're gonna wanna watch out for that, but if you get White Marseille, it is a great fig. A couple of other really good cold hardy figs are gonna be Letizia, Janeri, and one that people don't really talk about is LSU Purple. I've had great success with LSU Purple in a cold climate. It doesn't get talked about a lot, um, but it has been a good producer for us. Maybe not as heavy as some of the other varieties, but definitely worth growing in my opinion. Now there are so many varieties of figs that I couldn't possibly go through them all. We grow 165 just right here on the farm. Not all of them are available yet. We like to test them and make sure that they're gonna work in a cold climate before we market them as that. With that being said, I will make more videos in the future, so stay tuned for that if you're looking for more cold hardy figs. Uh, make sure to check out the AmericanFigCompany.com, a really cool, really, really cool fruit trees on there. And like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.